Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word will automatically create new rows at the bottom of a table when you press the tab key if your insertion mark is in the lower right corner cell of the table. You may also need to alter the table structure to add columns or rows in other places within the table or remove columns and rows previously created. When deleting rows from tables that store data, you should remove the entire row and not simply clear the contents of the cell in that row. Leaving a blank row in the middle of a structured table can lead to issues with sorting and counting the rows. To delete a column or row, first select the column or rows to delete. After making your selection, click the Delete drop-down button in the Rows and Columns button group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. From the drop-down menu that appears, select either Delete Columns or the Delete Rows command to delete the selected columns or rows. To add a new column or row, click into a cell within the column or row that is adjacent to the location where you want to add the new column or row. Then use the buttons available in the Rows and Columns button group on the Layout tab. Click either Insert Above, Insert Below, Insert Left, or Insert Right. Note that if you want to insert multiple columns or rows, then simply select the number of columns or rows that you want to insert before clicking one of the four buttons. For example, if you select three columns and then click the Insert Left button, you will insert three columns to the left of the selected columns. In Word 2013, you can also hold your mouse pointer between any two columns or rows until you see them slightly separate and a small plus sign appears between them. You can then click the plus sign to add a new column or row to that location. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.